Continuation 302 in the morning, West Coast time. It's still the 22nd of January 2024 at Weaver Agency of Rosemond, California. Hello, Daryl. Mr. Artist in Recovery. Shall we continue our lovely conversation? Yeah, this time I'm not doing the 30 minute jog like I usually do, but uh, I know your fears. What you're expressed? Yeah, it's, it's healthy. Only because we're dealing with idiots left and right on this one. We are. We think we know better. But the thing is, we have the capacity to try to understand that there is a gray area. There is a gray area regarding our politics. An area for compromise, discussion. But sure as hell not for combating. That's for damn sure. We are getting into it more and more. Now since uh, Sanctimonious had dropped out, he couldn't cut it. He thought he had the lead, and then somehow he, he lost it. The political pundits are still chewing on his bones on this one here. And they're having a field day over this poor guy. And Mickey Haley is going to be the one going head-to-head -head with Trump on this one. But if you noticed on Miss Haley, she hadn't completely gone after him. Of course, these people had to sign a loath of loyalty. We must sign the oath of loyalty. We must sign it to preserve the Republican, uh, I'm sorry, the Trumplican party. Can I say something about that one? I don't get sponsorships because I know I'm, I don't want it. <laughs> Let's just face it. I, uh, people are going to be expecting me to be what they want me to be. And I'm like, I am what I am. I am who I am. And I really don't give a rat's ass on that one. I cost hikers. I flip. I fart. I belch. I do human things. And if it's gross and disgusting, Good. Doesn't mean I do it in front of everybody else and say, deal with me. Here is my stench. Yeah, you're asking me how come I'm saying this thing in the first place. Well, geez, being real to other people, my God, that scares them. We have to put on the Hollywood veneer and facade at this point over here. We must show that we are this kind of person. Well, I leave my old disgusting habits at home. But if I'm going to be flipping people off, I better be sure that I'm going to have backup at this point over here, like maybe two or three people ready for a disagreement, if there's any. But the thing is, there isn't any. If they happen to see the videos, let them see the videos. If they give a shit. You know, on social media, I can post a hell of a lot of crap if I wanted to. Push a lot of people's buttons. I've done it before. But the thing is, there's usually a, a backlash on that one. Yeah, I've had it before. Not that I'm comfortable with the damn thing, mind you. I'm not. I just expect it, that's all. They got their own opinions. I've seen guys out in this town of mine flying the American flag and all the different mutated forms of it. There's been a few Trump flags flying around, too. They try to keep it subtle, but it isn't subtle for this town. Are you kidding me? They want to prove that they are loyal to a fanatic who think is going to take them to glory or something like that. They've got their own damn viewpoints on this one. I was always thinking about a cult, cult-like situation happening here and I wanted to talk about that in a previous video but I decided to keep it shorter you ever heard of Jim Jones David Koresh um, Kim Jong-un I'm not doing Putin the first two are cult leaders. 
Koresh was doing the religious aspect. Jim Jones was doing his own damn thing. And if we studied history, we would both know how those assholes ended up. One was poisoned because he forced everybody else to drink the Kool-Aid along, alongside himself. Or other people got shot. And killed. And Koresh, because of that standoff that happened out there, now, either they blame the federal government on that one, or you blame Koresh on that one. Your interpretation on it. Either way, Barbecue City. See, people don't want to learn and don't want to understand that cult leaders have this way of trying to gather people in there and one way or another browbeat you into it. You're going to learn, you're going to study, you're going to be this way because, well, the, the sickly sweet way of it will convince you you're part of us. Don't you understand now? Since I got you in my power, you are mine. You will always be mine. You'll be my child. I will kill for you. Stop your frickin' screaming, you brat. I'm trying to brainwash you into my cult. I want followers. You will be my champion of the followers. Yes? You will be mine. You will love to be, be mine. Don't you understand this? You will not disobey me. Now, if you want to see a cartoon version of this one, Comics are a good one. And uh, try the ultimate fa high father on this one. Dark side. Hey, I'm a comic. Not as a comedian. I loved reading comics when I was a kid, and I liked watching cartoons. And even as an adult, I watched cartoons. What the hell? I love them. Now, certain points of it, I can understand more and more of it when I get older. So when you're watching uh, Superman the Adventures, the DC version of it, I mean, they are available out there online somewhere, even on uh, streaming services. Darkseid is a heavy-handed asshole. Uh, pop apocalypse. Real nasty place. And he's got this conditioner called Granny Goodness. There have been versions of this thing created in the DC Universe, both live action and cartoon, where you have this character trying to convert and brainwash people into thinking. I mean, it's cartoonish, but still, it's scary as hell. And in dealing with our Trumplican parties right now, as it is, I mean... <sighs> I have been asking myself too many damn times, what the hell is with this asshole? I mean, what is it with this guy that he's talking their language, that they're understanding, and it's going completely over my head? When you have academia out there, lettered academia in their own professions, trying to follow this asshole, what did they, what did they pick up that I missed that makes them that way? Uh, ben Shapiro, there was, uh, what the hell was that asshole, the surgeon, surgeon general, I'm not talking about Fauci, no, 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 no. we're not doing, we're not doing that, we're not doing that guy, no, 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 not Ben Shapiro, no, 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 no. who's the asshole, who's the asshole, who's the asshole, uh, no, surgeon general during Trump admin, who the hell was that asshole? Oh, not him. God, bless it. What the hell was it? What him? No. HUD? That was the brain surgeon, right? Carson! Oh, God, him. 
Oh, Lord, no, no, no. It was supposed to be a brilliant surgeon, right? He was theoretically a brilliant surgeon. Posted to be a brilliant surgeon. And he ends up following the Trump. What the... F what's his major malfunction on this one? I couldn't figure this shit out for the life of me. Now, let's see who was already that screwed up in the head already. We got also fellow actors out there that I fell in love with in the 90s. 20s, I'm looking for my heroes. And I thought I saw one guy. 10 years older than I was, and now he's more freaking brainwashed than anything else. Even comedians I've seen are also brainwashed today, but you know, they're still keeping their name out there. I don't know why, but they are. You know, Tim Allen... Trump follower. He's claimed it out there. He's a Republican. He's a Republican. Chuck Norris. There's another person out there. Sorbo. Kevin Sorbo. That's another guy I, I, I looked up towards. And he's also pure conspiracy nut job. Oh my god, he just got to this asshole. Warped his brain, warped his personality, not to mention his face. I'm looking at it. I, I was looking at pictures of this guy online. It's like, what the hell happened to you? So, concerning about the people following the old Trump, I don't get it with them either. I don't know if they've gotten brain damage or dementia or something like that or were they like that without even showing that to other people were they developing those kind of stages before they fell into the line of Trump I mean there had to be some kind of some kind of social condition something that we missed that would put these people in a situation where they're easily manipulated Nobody had to manipulate me being a Democrat or a libtard, libtard. I had to keep an open mind when it came down for conservatives and also Demo uh, Democrats. When they're going log ahead. Because I had to see both point of views. My mother was trying to teach me that one. God rest her soul and God bless her soul. She wanted me to become an, uh, educated. Not an educated idiot, but just educated. Read, study, watch, observe, learn. Argue. Argue. Democracy, we're supposed to argue. Democracy, we're supposed to show that our differences of opinions, there may be a compromise in there. I mean, it was called the Great Compromise for our Declaration of Independence, wasn't it? I mean, first we had the Articles of Confederation. That didn't work. Hayes Rebellion. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Shays Rebellion taught us that one. And then we had the Declaration of it. No, not the Declaration. We had the um, Constitution of the United States with everyone else throwing in their opinions and everything else. So we have this uh, hodgepodge. But something to declare to the rest of the civilized world that we actually are a country, that we have uh, a civilized way of doing things, theoretically. To this day, I don't know anymore. Now, if I'm going to get uh, responding to the other videos that uh, I should have said something about that in a previous video of mine. Yeah, Biden and and Obama looked at it with. Okay, they're Americans expressing their point of view. We appreciate it. Even though they're picking the most inappropriate time, but, you know, we appreciate it anyway. At least we acknowledged it. And we may have security to toss them out, but maybe hopefully keep them on the side so we can find out what the hell's going on with them. Find out what their point of view is. Have somebody interview those guys understand what they were trying to say. There was that other one uh, I posted in your uh, comment section 
about the uh, second um, speech sent to the Congress and how Marjorie Taylor uh, twit and the rest of her Trumplicants were trying to derail it and Biden was throwing humor at him. Good for him. And I liked Obama try, uh, trying to trying to make his point. And yeah, I did see the video concerning about how Trump doesn't like people disagreeing with him. I saw that too. He's the bully. He's a gangster. He grew up in that lifestyle. Lied, cheated, stolen. Conned. To get where he is. And now he's crashing and burning and he's screaming and yelling at people and he wants people to protect his ass on this one. He wants to stay in power that much. That's what every damn gangster out there wanted to do in the first place. Well, actually, lie, steal, cajole, threaten. Really be a big bully towards everybody else, including uh, the justice system, thinking that they're above the law because they're special. As if God pointed them to be special people, therefore they got to be above men's law because they are egomaniacs. And if you had noticed, when people started talking about the Bible, I'm not quick on every damn verse or every chapter in there, but there were some things in there. I think Christ was trying to make a point in the New Testament somewhere, probably in the four books, or maybe a little bit afterwards, but I think somewhere in the Sermon on the Mount, that uh, you render unto Caesar that which is Caesar, you render unto God which is God, to paraphrase. Basically, men's law is men's law down here. God rules the heart and mind, but we still have the laws down here that rule the bodies. Basically. Meaning that he doesn't exactly like when people are trying to worship two or three things at the same time, being a trumplicant, trying to follow Christ's pattern, but being a bully at the same time. It's like gathering someone's head here and trying to do some whackings on the, on the mold here. And then saying, I'm doing this because God told me to knock your head in. I'm going to convert you. You're going to be, you're going to do this and you do that. And, and you're going to, and you're going to, and you're going to, and there goes the chest again. And there goes the ego inflated. Because I see some... It's always the us versus them. You don't understand? There's always the us versus them. I'm not saying we live and let live in a kind of society like that. No, because in our society at this point over here, we do have the... But we still have to find ways to find a common ground, if necessary. Even when our opinions are differing a great deal, there has to be some kind of element. If not, we are totally polarized and we are going back into the, I'm afraid so, over or not in there already. But democracy is like that. It's like a, a powder keg sometimes. Or, no, a controlled nuclear reaction. Nuclear power. You got your rods, you got your water, steam, electricity. Continue the reaction to a point and you get your power. But get the balance just out of whack just a little bit and everything else goes hell in a handbasket. Or if you want to talk about Star Trek stuff, dilithium. I like all dilithium. It's matter antimatter ratio, one to one. Off a bit and then boom. Keep the one on one, we'll find a compromise. If it's off a bit, boom. Yeah. So I'm not the swiftest guy. 
in the universe on this. I am not completely there where I'm thinking I know better than everybody else. Well, no, I don't. And the problem is, if I knew better, I wouldn't be doing these silly things, now would I? No, I'm just getting my clock set up so I can go back to bed again and sleep this nightmare off. I've got Bug Guy coming in, hopefully today. He was in last week, so I don't know what the hell happened last week. I was ready for this guy. But he didn't come, neither did the management, so we'll find out what the hell happens. So I'm ending this right now. I'll be posting a little bit later, because right now I need to get some more sleep without dealing with acid and a reflux. Oh, last time, last thing I ate about a few hours ago, several hours ago, was a pasta dish. It was so good. And it's biting me in here that I've been having acid reflux all the damn time. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm going to see a doc. I'm going to see a doctor. I've had a couple of people out there asking me about that one. Well, you got to see a doctor. If they've ever seen my videos and know what kind of this, what kind of displeasure, what kind of extreme... PTSD I'd gotten from the medical establishment all my life. They would understand how much I loathe going, but next week I do. Next week I do. I'm not looking forward to it. Right after my birthday. I can't believe we're getting this damn old dude. Okay, this is going to be tail end Charlie on this one here, but if I don't catch you on this one, happy birthday, pal. Happy birthday to the both of us reaching 58. I didn't say loving it, I'm just saying reaching 58. Victory milk. If you've been following a few of the videos I've been doing, you know, understand some of the stuff I've been going through right now. Freezer's gone out again. Or struggling with a hell of a lot of ice buildup. So I'm back to the blue ice and switching ice blocks around left and right. Trying to keep the food cold. And outside igloos covered up to where I've got perishables out there. Or... If I don't open up the refrigerator drawer all that often, that's why I keep my refrigerator, uh, my perishables in a couple of igloos with blue ice and sometimes rotated with frozen ice blocks. As long as I still have generation of ice in the freezer unit, and it may not be going into the main refrigerator, at least I still have some kind of refrigeration source that I can keep my food cold enough that I can actually use and eat. But after that, forget it. I got to spend another two or three more hundred dollars again to last maybe about another week or two. Oh, more videos to come on this one, but not right now. Sleep is the major. So I'll see you in a while, and I'll get these things posted later today.